what needs to be on an auto estimate. There are many different styles of estimate forms, but they all help you record the necessary information. All auto repair estimates will need to have your company information on it. It should also specify who the auto body estimator is in the estimator's contact information. It will need all of the customer's information, including their name, address, phone numbers, or any other contact information. I even like to get their email address. The more contact information that you receive from the customer up front, the easier it will be to follow up or update the customer at a later time. One thing to avoid. The last thing you want is to be hung up needed to speak to the vehicle owner before you can continue the repairs, only to discover that you cannot get in touch with them. Perhaps they go on vacation and the only contact information that estimator recorded was their home phone number. You will not have a happy customer when they return expecting their vehicles to be ready. Vehicle Information You will also need the vehicle information. The make, model, and style. Be certain to record the VIN number. This may be used to determine the correct parts to order and many other uses. The VIN can actually tell you quite a lot about the vehicle. Record the mileage, license plate number and the date. This is all important information to have for future purposes. Insurance information. Most accidents are going to be a insurance claim so be sure to get all of the insurance information. Insurance name. Contact information, loss date and type of loss. Now you're ready to start analyzing the damage. Now you can get to the damage. Remember to follow the sequence of the estimating guide. If the accident is in the front, work from the front towards the back. Get information about the accident. Before you start writing the damage find out as much information as you can about the accident from the customer. The customer or whoever was in the accident is the best resource to get the information that you need to write a good estimate. A few of the questions that you may ask include are, how many passengers were in the vehicle? You may need to examine the seat belt where a passenger was sitting. How fast were you traveling? Or, was the vehicle parked? What direction was each vehicle traveling upon impact? All of this information will help you have a better understanding of the accident and will help you write a better estimate. Think of the estimate as a communication tool that will show the big picture. The more information you have on it the clearer the big picture will look. The more customer, vehicle, insurance and facts about the accident you collect, the better communications you will have throughout the entire process. A little extra work on the front side will save you a lot of time and headaches. That wraps up this lesson. Have you heard about www.collisionblast.com? Yes, I have. Collision Blast is a great website for additional collision repair training, news, and resources with many great expert authors. Let's go visit Collision Blast right now. Thanks for watching.